How's it going guys? Welcome back to Everything Sport Wiki. So today I'm going to suggest you guys uh, what pair to start and to sit uh, this week in fantasy football. So let's just jump in right now real quick. So Thursday night game, the Chargers and the Raiders. Uh, I think there's going to be lots of points scored in this game. Um, Derek Carr has been playing really good recently. Uh, he has nine touchdowns and one interception in the last five games. He's averaging uh, 250 passing yards per game. Um, the Chargers defense, it's not an easy task. Uh, Joe Bosa is playing at an elite level. Uh, same with Melvin Ingram. And uh, honestly, the Chargers overall, uh, as far as passing the defense, they're top 10 passing defense. So. I'll be cautious with uh, Derek Carr. Uh, he's not one of my favorite players this week as far as the QB position. And in fact, I feel like uh, uh, there are better streamers this week that we, uh, that, uh, I will suggest later on. Um, so I will not play Derek Carr, so he's a seat for me. Uh, I will roll though with uh, Devin Waller. Uh, he, sh he should be fine, especially since he's at 10 end. He should be started every week. And then as far as another passing option for the Raiders, uh, I feel like, you know, reven revenge match for Tyler Williams, that could be an option, like, as a flex, I will roll Tyler Williams this week, and just open for a long run. I think it's not really a bad, bad idea, and then of course, uh, we have to start Judge Jacobs every week, um, they're feeding the ball a lot, he has really much upside. I, I wish that they would use him more in the passing game, but overall, Josh Jacobs is guaranteed 15-20 touches per game. And the Chargers defense, as far as rushing defense, uh, they're not as good as the passing defense, so they can, they can actually uh, be beaten there. As far as the Chargers, I really like the Chargers offense in this spot this week. Weavers uh, hasn't provide much upside, but I feel like this is a perfect game for Rivers to score a couple of touchdowns. Um, last year he had a good run of two passing touchdowns in 12 consecutive games. Uh, this year uh, he hasn't provided the same output. In fact, he already has three games without a touchdown, but they just recently fired the offensive coordinator and last week against Green Bay, the offense were able to really move down the field pretty quick and nice. Uh, so for me, Rivers is a nice uh, streaming candidate this week. Uh, I had him for 20 yards and 3 passing touchdowns. As far as running backs, uh, I think you can start both Melvin Gordon and Eckler. I think they both will have the opportunity. Uh, Melvin Gordon, of course, we're hoping for the one yard line touchdown. Uh, Eckler, though, last week he had 12 carries, so that's really that's really good. Uh, I need to keep notice of that. Uh, so I have Eckler good for 70 total yards and 5 catches, but not a touchdown. And I have Melvin Gordon with 90 total yards and a touchdown. Both are fine players this week. And now, as far as uh, receivers for the Chargers, uh, my favorite is Hunter Henry. I think Hunter Henry is going to have a monstrous game against the Raiders. Uh, he's going to have one or even two touchdowns this uh, game. And as far as uh, the other option, you have to go with Ken Allen even though he doesn't provide you the same output at the beginning. And also Mike Williams. Mike Williams, for many, is having a bad season compared to last year. But last year Mike Williams only had 600 total receiving yards and 10 touchdowns. He hasn't found the red zone yet, but he, he already has almost the same receiving yards. So I feel like Mike Williams, he can be a nice swimming candidate. He's going to be more than a flex. I think he finally is going to find the end zone this week. Uh, and then let's move on to Sunday's game. Uh, to the morning games, we have uh, NFC North Clash between the Lions and the Chicago. Uh, there are a few guys that I like and others that I will avoid. Uh, I personally will avoid both quarterbacks in this game. Uh, Trubisky, sorry for you guys, Chicago Bears fan, but he's completely trash. I will avoid him. Uh, Stafford, he's been playing at high level, but at Chicago, um, Chicago really, even though it's on the same defense last year, 
Uh, Chicago has been really solid against quarterback. In fact, Dorney, I think they allowed one quarterback to go over 20 yards, and that was Case Keenum. Uh, I will uh, seat Matthew Stafford. So what player am I willing to start this week? Well, I only like one guy in particular, and it's David Montgomery. I feel like David Montgomery uh, is going to be fine. Uh, Chicago will be beaten in the running game, uh, so David, uh, sorry, Lions have been beaten in the running game, so David Montgomery is going to be fine. I like that. Uh, I like that. Uh, he had 20 carries last week. He's been producing, and he's definitely one step above uh, Cohen and uh, Davis. So Montgomery is my favorite player of uh, in this matchup. And as far as passing catchers for both teams. Uh, honestly, I think I mean, it's a favorable, favorable matchup for the Bears' pass options, uh, sorry, receiving options, but like we saw Allen Robinson last week, that was a favorable, favorable matchup as well against one of the worst secondary in the Eagles in the NFL, but he only gave you one catch for six yards. So, there is potential there, but unfortunately I cannot trust Trubisky, so I will avoid the pass catchers in Chicago. Only if you are desperate, then I will start Allen Robinson. As far as the uh, Detroit Lions, uh, I don't think Matthew Stafford is going to have a really good game, but I think he can still roll with both guys, Marvin Jones and Gordon, just lower your expectations. Then Ravens and the Bengals. Uh, man, I really love anything from the Ravens. Lamar Jackson is going to be the QB1 this week. Uh, he's due for one or two rushing touchdowns. Mark Ingram is going to be fine. And uh, Mark Andrews is going to be fine as well. I think he's going to finally uh, find the end zone again. Um, so start all the Baltimore Ravens relevant fantasy players, in my opinion. And as far as the Bengals, uh, um, I mean, if you are going with Joe Nixon to this point, I hope that you have a better option than him, but I don't see a huge game from him. Um, I'm only looking at receiving options for the, uh, for the Bengals. Honestly, if you hold to AJ Green to this point, I think you get a, if he plays, I think you get a start him. Uh, AJ Green has always tortured the Ravens. And I think that even though it's not Andy Dalton, he's gonna be targeted a lot. So I like both AJ Green and Tyler Boyd because I see the Bengals passing a lot in this game. So I will start both of those guys. And maybe, maybe Harden Tate will be still relevant this week uh, since it's only the first game of AJ Green coming back. Then we have uh, the Bills and the Browns. This game is intriguing because I feel like this can be an upset. Uh, I feel like the Cleveland Browns may win this game, but I will make my NFL picks in the next in, in, that, in a different video. So let's just focus on the game itself. Uh, Josh Allen, I think you gotta start him for sure. That's because uh, he gave you the rushing upside that not not many quarterbacks have. Uh, and also, I like Devin Singletary in this game. Last week he had 20 carries. I think they will still keep rolling with him. It's going to be fine. And I also like John Brown. I feel like John Brown, I have him with 5 receptions, 30 yards. So I think he's going to be a fine flex uh, player. And as far as the Cleveland Browns, uh, I will roll with Chubb. Uh, even, I'm not afraid of Kareem Hunt coming back. I think Chubb has done enough to have a significant role in this office. And also Baker, it's hard to see a guy like Baker on your team, but I don't like him in this point. I don't like Baker Mayfield, I don't like Baker. I will start Landry though. I think Landry can uh, be quite important in this game. Um, so overall, I'm not a big fan of the Cleveland Browns fantasy players, but definitely Chubb is something that I was in my lineup for sure, and then Baker, 
you can put him in, but lower your expectation like you did in season one. Now let's go to a nice game. Uh, we're moving really to the afternoon games. Let's be there six teams on by. And we have the Carolina Panthers visiting the Green Bay Packers. So one thing to keep uh, you know, to keep uh, attention is that the weather in Green Bay has been really bad. There is snow already. So I don't know what the condition going to be on Sunday, but keep up with the weather because it's really important for your fantasy football lineup. Uh, so either way, McAfee is going to be fine. Of course, you're going to start him. Uh, I also like in this uh, matchup DJ Moore and Carter Samuel. I think both guys, even Greg Ors, I think all passing options will be fine. Uh, Green Bay Packers is not as good defense as you see from the numbers. You saw last week the Chargers uh, they took advantage of this defense. They got exposed. Even though Kyle Allen is not Philip Rivers, is not a top quarterback, I think he can do enough damage to make those receivers relevant for your fantasy lineup. DJ Moore is coming from a, a huge game, 100 receiving yards. I think I him for 7 uh, reception and 80 yards, but no touchdown. So he can be a solid wide receiver too. And Greg Olsen, uh, unfortunately, tight position, it's not easy to to figure out. But I feel like Greg Olsen uh, is uh, give enough points uh, to make you happy for the week. And Carter Samuel is the red zone guy. I think he can have another touchdown. As far as the Packers, Rogers, I like that they uh, I like I like that they're playing at home. When the Green Bay Packers play at home, I'm starting all of the relevant players. So Rogers is a I'm I'm starting him. Devante Adams I'm starting him and Aaron Jones I'm starting him and Jamal Williams I'm willing to flex him. He already has five receiving touchdowns and he's been averaging five reception per game. In PPR, Jamal Williams is a solid flex player, so be confident in starting. Now, we're gonna go to the Falcon and Saints game. I really like this game because I think it's gonna give you lots of uh, fantasy and uh, football relevant uh, points. I feel like this is gonna be a, a really shootout. Uh, I feel like the Saints should not have any problem in scoring this game. I feel like the Falcons will try to come back. So I expect huge games for Matt Ryan and Drew Brees. So both quarterbacks, I have them both in my top 10. I have Drew Brees as a top 5 and Matt Ryan is my 7th overall QB ranked for this week. Uh, pass catcher, I'll, uh, I think Ridley, Ridley is going to have a huge game. Uh, without a man, I know Ridley is going to step up, so uh, I'm willing to start Ridley, I'm willing to start Whooper, even though it's, nice, it's not a nice matchup for him. And Mooney Jones, you have to roll with him every week. And the only guy that I'm tempting my expectation is Devante Freeman, because the Saints are really good against running game. But Devante Freeman, if he does meet, not coming back. And since the, the Falcons most likely will be in a catch-up mode, I feel like Dante Freeman is going to have 6 seven receptions and he's going to be fine in PPR. So, he is not a bad option. It's easy a seat for me. Just lower your expectation, expectations because the Saints are really good running defense. And as far as the Saints, Drew Brees, a must start. He's going to be a top 5 quarterback this week. Michael Thomas roll with him. Kamara roll with him, Murray, Murray, Latavius Murray is going to be a flex worthy player and Jared Cook is coming back and I think he's going to be fine too. Now I think next game up is probably the worst game this week. I don't think nobody is going to watch this game unless you're from New York. That's because we have the clash between the Giants and the Jets. Two teams that are not playing good football right now. Um, they're battling for a top 5 draft pick uh, but honestly when you, there are two teams like at this level this can be really important for your fantasy lineup because this can give you really good upside because there are players that I'm willing to start from both teams I'm willing to start well Barkley of course and Barkley and Bell if, if Bell is healthy of course you can start them but Golden Tate is going to be fine also Evan Ingram 
you're going to miss some time. So red Allison, it can be uh, a, a nice uh, ta uh, time for this week. Um, last time Evan Ingram was out, he was in the field 100% for his snaps. We can be fine. I, I think he can have like five, six catches, and if he scores a touchdown, he can be a top five ten this week. So. Red Tiles are going to be fine, Golden Tate is going to be fine, and Slayton too. Slayton, if you're desperate, it can be worth a pickup. And as far as the Jets, Bell, uh, Donald, it's a juicy matchup, but I would avoid it. That's because he's, he's been really bad. But, I'm willing to give Robbie Anders another chance. Robbie Anders another chance. Uh, I just think that at home, no, Anderson, as long as he catches a big bomb, he's going to be fine this week. I think he's a perfect game where he's going to do that. So, I love Jameson Crowder. I feel like Jameson Crowder is a top 20 option this week at the wide receiver position, especially in PPR. But Robbie Anderson, even though he's been really bad for your fantasy team, give this guy another chance. If Robbie Anderson doesn't do anything this week, drop him. But I will start in, in one of my leagues. Then we're going to another interesting game for fantasy, but not for real football. That's because we're going to Tampa Bay, where the Cardinals are visiting the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, this, this is going to be a high scoring game. Uh, Norway is my favorite quarterback this week that is still available in many leagues. Norway is a perfect screaming candidate if you are one of those teams that doesn't have a uh, quarterback this week because of the buys. Uh, so I like Norway, I like Christian Kirk a lot. Fitzgerald, uh, it's a juicy matchup but he's been terrible in the past few weeks. I think that I will roll with David Johnson, I will roll with Kenyon Drake still, because I feel like Kenyon Drake is going to be relevant even with David Johnson coming back. But I like Murray a lot, and I like Christian Kirk a lot in this game. And then Tampa Bay, Jameson Winston um, is probably the best streaming quarterback this week. Uh, he is, I would say Cardinals, they are terrible against the uh, against uh, the pass. They have allowed a 24 passing touchdown. Jameson Winston at home, no? With Mike Evans and Godwin, and possibly Hoji Howard. Yes, Jameson Winston is a fine, really fine uh, swimming quarterback this week. Uh, Mike Evans, Godwin start them, and also start OJ Howard. Yes, I'm saying this, OJ Howard. He's coming back. He practice on Wednesday. Uh, Arizona Cardinals are the worst team against the 10th position. Cameron Reid is coming from a goose. Yes, OG Howard is going to have a breakout game. I'm saying this now. OG Howard is going to have a breakout game. If OG Howard sucks this week, drop him. Drop him. This is a final chance for him. Just like Robbie Anderson. Just look like Robbie Anderson. Uh, ten position, it's not easy to stream, no, because you really depend on the touchdown upside. This is the perfect matchup for a Jawa to score a touchdown this week. It is this first touchdown for the season. So, so make sure to put him in your lineup if you do not have a better option than him. Like for example, one of my leagues I have OG Howard and I have Vance McDonald too. I'm rolling with OG Hour this week. If you have guys like Hunter Henry, Darren Warrior, Keto, Kelsey, of course you go with those guys. But for example, OJ Howard or Greg Olsen, even though Greg Olsen for me is a start, I'm going OJ Howard. OJ Howard, Jason Witten and Rudolph, I'm going OJ Howard for the outside. Even though Jason Witten is a safe guy, he's not going to give you zero points. So, Go with a job and be confident. Uh, at this point, give this guy the last shot. And then, uh, Ronald Jones for me is a, is a flex worthy player. Uh, Bruce Evans came out and said that Ronald Jones is a starter from now on. He's going to have 12, 15 carries, carries 
is going to uh, be one in the red zone. He's also going to be both the passing game. I think he's due for 10, 12 fantasy points in PPR. And if he scores a touchdown, he can score 17, 18 points. So he's, something, he's someone that I'm willing to flex, also considering that there are six teams on by. And now we're going to the Chiefs against the uh, Tennessee Titans. Uh, this is interesting. Mondo is coming back. We don't know how Mahomes is going to play this game. Uh, he's coming back after three weeks, uh, but you're still going to start him. I, I don't see how you're going to bench Mahomes, especially since there are six teams on bye week, so you don't have a better option than him. Mahomes is going to be fine. Uh, I think that last week, if that game would have been really important for the playoffs uh, possibility, Mahomes will play that game. But now he is relaxed, he's going to play, start him, start him, start, start Damon Williams. Damon Williams has separated himself from McCoy, uh, so I'm willing to start Damon Williams, but I'm seeing McCoy. Start Kelsey, start Hill, and start Sammy Watkins. As far as the team is seen, Tyler is a perfect streaming quarterback for teams that uh, have the quarterbacks on bye weeks. Uh, I think that even though the Tennessee they have a good defense uh, and even though the Tennessee are, tr are going to try to establish the running game at some point they will have to come back from this game so Tanner is going to be fine he's been fine so far since uh, he got the starting job so roll with uh, Tanner, roll with uh, AJ Brown roll with Jordan Smith because they didn't work and not play and then we can win Corey Davis, sit Corey Davis. Dolphins, Colts. So Brissett is practicing, so he's about to, so probably he's going to start. I love this game because you guys need to realize that the Dolphins have relevant fantasy football players. Yes, they do. Delante Parker is one of my favorite wide receiver players this week. Uh, Person Williams went to the IR, Devante Park has been fine in fantasy football, honestly. Uh, he's, been, he's been scoring touchdown like he is no other day. Uh, Devante Parker, perfect uh, flex player. Fitzpatrick, for me, he looked fine, could be to stream this week, especially since the, they're going to be 16 on by week. Uh, so, those are the two guys that I'm willing to play from the Dolphins, plus this is key, the hand. Uh, the hand position, as I said before, it's always a mess. You don't know who to play. Unless you do not have a top five to hand, anybody else can be good or bad in a given week. But Gesicki, last week he had a breakout game. Uh, they don't have that many pass catcher options. Gesicki is going to be fine. I'm willing to start him if I'm desperate at this position. Other side of the ball, if Brissett comes back, he is a great streaming quarterback. Start him with confidence. Marlon Mack is my started, is my a favorite running back to start this week. Start Marlon Mack and start Jack Dolo. Even is dealing with some issues. Jack Dolo has been fine in a couple of weeks. I think he's due for another touchdown. Jack Doyle and Z Pascal start those players. Now, Rams Steers. <sighs> this game is frustrating for fantasy football owners. That's just because there are players that we expected a lot, a lot from before the season started, but they let us down. Uh, golf are now. Is not uh, one of my favorite options this week. I'm seeing golf this week. I don't like the matchup on the road against a tough Steelers defense. I'm not. I'm not starting him. Really, I'm tempting my uh, expectation. I think that there's going to be a rotation going on. Uh, you're just shooting for a touchdown, but with the Steelers defense is tough. Cooper Cup and Jared Everett are the two guys that I'm starting from the Rams. I'm seeing wounds. As far as the Steelers, we are starting a running back position, start a player. Jalen Samuels 
even if James Conner comes back, I'm still willing to start Jalen Samuel. So start those two players if James Conner is available, of course. Mason Rudolph, do you consider him? Like, you better off starting a, a quarterback that's on bye week, you start with Mason Rudolph. Juju Schuster. Um, you don't know what is going to happen. One one game is going to give you 20 points performance, other game is going to give you 3, 4, 5 points performance. This week, only start Juju if you don't have a better option. Uh, I have him in 3 leagues, I'm starting in 1, that's because I don't have a better option, I'm seeing him in only 2 leagues. And also, McDonald is fine. Mason Rudolph likes him. He, last week he got seven targets. He may score a touchdown. So McDonald, I like him this week. Now, Sunday night football game. This is going to be fine. fun. Vikings against the Cowboys. This is going to be a fun uh, Sunday night game. Uh, so, Kirk Cousins, Dak Prescott. Kirk Cousins, when it's uh, TV showtime, he should have performed. Thielen is not coming back. Uh, so Darwin Cook is starting. Rudolph, I'm willing to start him. And Diggs is going to bounce back. Kirk Cousins, though, uh, I like other players. I like Tanya Bendenim. I like Brissett, Wilson, Weavers. So Kirk Cousins, lower your expectation on him. As far as the Cowboys, you're going to start when the Cowboys play at home, start your Cowboys play with confidence. No matter what team they're going to face, no, no matter what defense. Start Tech Prescott, start Elliott, start Wheaton, start Amari Cooper. Gallup, I will bench him this time. Seattle Seals and 49ers. Finally, we're going to have a really nice Monday night game. Okay. Uh, Russell Wilson, MVP so far of the league, starting even against a tough defense, starting uh, Chris Carson, start Chris Carson, start Tyler Lockett, consider to start Jacoby Hollister too, but he is not one of my favorite options here. Uh, you're only hoping for a touchdown. So Wilson, Carson, Lockett, start. 49ers, Garoppolo, Sid Garoppolo, Start Kito, start Breda and Coleman. And as far as passive option, I like a lot Emmanuel Sanders this week. He's a 12, he's a top 12 wide receiver option for fantasy football. Oh man, that took us almost 30 minutes. So I went through every game for this week. Hopefully, this video is going to help you guys make your decision. If you have any other questions about some players that I didn't even touch a lot in this video, leave a comment and I'll give you my suggestions on what to do. Thanks you guys for supporting me. Uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos about like this. Next video is going to be about my NFL picks. Uh, I'm going to give you my opinion on which team to take this week if you like to bet on sports. See you guys and I'll see you at the very next video.